Hey everyone, it's Joy here with another Lawn Fawn video. I've made an interactive Valentine's card for you today using the Magic Picture Changer die along with the Pizza My Heart stamp set. Now here's the Magic Picture Changer die. You have your larger piece, you have your smaller piece, you have the frame, and then you have the tab. The larger piece is like your pocket piece and that's going to be the image on the front before you pull your tab. So I'm going to lay this out on my white cardstock. Here's that super cute pizza my heart stamp set. I'm going to use the heart pizza and the slice. So I'm just kind of laying this out so I have an idea of where I need to place my image on my cardstock to stamp that so I can color it. And I'm going to stamp the pizza twice. So I have this in my Misty. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Jet Black ink to ink this up. This is Copic friendly along with their white cardstock. On the second piece of cardstock, I will be stamping the slices of pizza. I'm gonna stamp two slices and I will be doing some masking, just a very light masking. I wanted the piece to, uh, two slices of pizza to slightly overlap each other. So I'm gonna do the first piece of, of pizza. This is going to be the front piece. I'm going to stamp that on a piece of masking paper and just use my scissors to cut out directly on the black stamped line. I'm so sorry, my hand was out of range there, but I'm gonna stamp that. I'm not worried about the top part to trim that out perfectly because I just need the bottom part trimmed out. That's where the other little slice of pizza is going to overlap. So I'm gonna stick that down in place. I'm gonna bring in that slice, just slightly overlap it making sure it fits within that little window. Then just stamp that one more time. Once I'm done stamping that, I'll peel back the masking tape and now you've got these great little images. Okay, so I'm gonna start with E35 and it was a little bit dark for the crust of the pizza. So I'm actually going to come in with E00 and just lighten that up a little bit. I wanna make a nice toasty crust on this. So now I'm gonna come in with E37 and just add a slight shadow, a little bit of a dark area, then E35 to blend that out, and then E00 to blend that. And then I'm gonna come in with this E59 and I'm gonna add some of the really dark, like charred parts of that crust, and then E35 to kind of just soften that a little bit, and then E29 to add just a few little dots to add some really crusty, crunchy parts, some of the best part of the pizza. I like those rustic pizzas that show a little bit of the sauce around the edge, so that's what I'm gonna do with this. And I'm using R37, R39, and R35 for the red combination, just to kind of blend that out a little bit. So the R39 is the darkest against the crust, then R37 is like the mid color, and R35 is the lighter color to blend that out. Now, in the stamp set, you've got cute little, little uh, veggies and things like that to put on your pizza. I'm using the pepperoni, and I'm just using acrylic block to stamp that with the black ink. And then I'm coming in with cilantro ink and the little basil pieces and stamping that. And that's a solid image, but I'm gonna add some Copic markers to that just to give it a little bit more detail. So I'm going to use R37 R39 and R89 for the pepperoni. So it's a little bit darker than the sauce because I want that to stand out a little bit differently. Then I'm coming in with Y11, 08 and 19 for the cheese. And I'm starting with a really light color and then I'm just gonna kind of build to make it a little bit more of an orangey yellow. And so the Y19 comes in really nicely for that. Then I'm gonna use Y19 and YR27 to add those little burnt parts of your cheese, the cheese that got a little bit crispy. I like to have little spots of those everywhere. So I'm adding the YR27 kind of over the Y19. Then I'm coming in with the YG67 and YG17 to add a little bit of detail to the stamped basil pieces. Now here are the slices. I'm going to color these exactly the same, the E37, 35, and 00 to kind of blend that out. And I'm just gonna go over it a couple times to get it exactly how I want it. Then I'm gonna use the E59 
and E35 to make those little burnt parts and add a little bit of that E29. Then I have the R39, 37, and 35 for the sauce. I'm doing that exactly the same. Coming in and stamping the pepperonis, I'm gonna do three pepperonis for each slice. And then I've got the cilantro ink and the basil pieces and I'm gonna stamp two of those on each one of the pizzas. Then I want to color the pepperonis again I'm going a little bit darker, so R37, 39, and 89 for that. And then the Y11, 08, 19, and YR27 for the pizza and the burnt little pieces. And the YG17 and 67 to add a little bit of detail to those basil pieces that we already stamped. These little pizza images were so super fun to color. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow. I'm coming in with C2, which is a gray marker, and it's fairly light. It's not the lightest one, but it's pretty light. And I'm gonna just going to trace around these images, which is gonna give it a little bit of depth and make it look like it's popping off of the page. I thought that would add a nice little touch to the slices and the whole pizza. Then we're going to now die cut this. So I'm going to line up the dies with some low tech tape and then run this through the die cut machine. So I'm just going to have this larger piece here. This is going to be for the whole piece of pizza. This is what you will see when the pull tab is not pulled up. So I'm going to tape that in place and then here's the smaller little pull tab. This is what you see what you will see when you pull the tab up. So I'm going to tape those in place and run that through my die cut machine. So here's how it looks when it's all done. Super easy, super cute. Okay, so this larger piece, there is a score mark on the top. I'm gonna fold that. Just use my bone folder to get a nice sharp crease. Then there's little um, score marks on the side. So you have two flaps. I'm gonna fold that over and use my bone folder to get a nice good edge. Then I'm gonna bring in the score tape. We're gonna add score tape to the inside of these flaps that I've just folded over and the outside. So you're gonna be using four pieces and I'm gonna put that in place on the insides and then I'll flip this over and put them on the outsides of the little flap, not on the actual front of the card. These are on those little flaps that we just folded over. Then I'm going to remove them from the inside only and fold it over remove that release tape, fold it over. Now I'm gonna use my powder tool to brush along that where the tape is, because you don't want anything sticky, over all of these little flaps front and back of both pieces. This is gonna help have less friction and your little magic picture changer will slide and move so much easier. I'm gonna put that piece in there. I have to put it in the right way first. I'm gonna slide that piece in. Then I'm going to take those little front pieces and slide it into the little slots. There's four slots on the back and then there's four of these little pieces on the front. They're just gonna slide right in, super easy. And then now your little picture changer or magic picture changer will move nice and easy. Now I'm going to center that piece in the back making sure it's not touching the sides. I'm gonna remove the release tape, press that down and now this works perfectly. And isn't that so super cute? I love how this turned out. Okay, so for the background, I'm going to be using some chili pepper cardstock. I'm gonna die cut that frame twice. Then this is the Quilted Heart Backdrop Portrait Die, and I'm going to die cut this once, again, from chili pepper cardstock. I'm gonna tape those in place, run that through my die cut machine. Now I stamped some more images. I wanted to have a couple more images on the front at the bottom of the magic picture changer. So I stamped the cute pizza box and the pizza cutter. I'm using the C colors to do black and gray on the pizza cutter and then some browns and reds for the pizza box. So E00 for the base color, E33 for the darkest color, and then I'm gonna come in with E11 as the middle color to kind of blend that out. I'm gonna do this twice, because again, I like to do this twice. It kind of gives me a better shading, I feel like, but super simple coloring. And then I'm gonna come in with the reds, of course. R39 is the darkest that I'm gonna use on here, then 37 and 35, and I'm just gonna blend that out in the center. I wanted to bring in more of that red. Now I'm gonna use the coordinating dies to die cut these. I'm just gonna put those in place 
and add some low tech tape and run that through my die cut machine. And then we'll have some super cute images. I'm also going to stamp the sentiment that says, you have a pizza, my heart, and I'm going to be using chili pepper ink to stamp this. And then I'll just use my paper trimmer to trim this out. This is going to go across the top of the magic picture changer. So I'm gonna trim off those sides. And then now we can get this card put together. I'm gonna use uh, Lawn Fawn's glue tube to add some adhesive on the back of this quilted heart backdrop. This is the portrait. They also have a landscape. And I'm going to adhere that to a white card panel. Then you can see those pretty hearts through. Then let's get these frames put together. I have two of these die cut. This is gonna give a little bit of dimension. And we're gonna place this around the images on the magic picture changer. And I also die cut a piece of licorice cards, black licorice cardstock, slightly bigger than the magic picture changer. And then that is going to have some foam tape behind it for dimension. But we need to put on this little tab, which I also die cut from black licorice cardstock. This is going to let your recipient know that this is where you need to pull. And it also stops that little tab from going all the way down and you kind of your picture stuff going out of the bottom. So here's the foam tape. This is gonna give some dimension, of course, and I'm gonna center this on that backdrop. I will also adhere this to a white A2 size card base. Now I decided I wanted to also have some foam tape behind the sentiment because I wanted that to pop up too. So I'm gonna add a little piece of that and then just center that right there at the top. And then we've got that pizza box and the pizza cutter we're gonna put right at the bottom which I think is a cute addition to this. It gives you, these images are so cute, so why not have more, right? So foam tape behind both of those. And I'm gonna have that pizza cutter just kind of leaning on the pizza box. And then I'm gonna come in with my white gel pen just to add some finishing details and highlights to the box, to the cutter, and to the pepperonis on both of the images. So I'm just gonna open that, then close it. And then you have this super cute magic picture changer interactive card. This is a great Valentine's card, especially for pizza lovers. I think it turned out so super cute and these images changing are just super fantastic. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope that you feel inspired and I will see you guys soon. Bye.